reds and oranges and yellows in this little basket with all of your lights. So many of you love these Bethlehem Lights pieces. They're great urn fillers too. But we have two more color mixes of mums that we're introducing for you today. So this is the first day that we're presenting these. And this is item number H212703. Already over 150 of you have dialed in for these. So this is $57.00. And 12 cents and we have a purple mix for you this year and we have a pink mix for you this year last year we did the harvest mix and it completely sold out so we added more to the inventory this year and we have it for you on three payments of nineteen dollars and four cents you'll need two C batteries here you have 30 warm white lights and this is for those of you who frankly just want some additional color to extend your growing season. You know, listen, real mums are pretty, right? But isn't it just nice to know that you could just simply have these hanging and have these look great? And that's exactly what you're going to get here. So you know what I do need for somebody to bring me from the other set? I need that harvest mix. I didn't realize there's not one out here. So can somebody bring me one of those? Okay, great. So here is what we're calling our plum mix. The plum mix has a soft white mum, it has a green kind of a color mum, and it has a purple color. This is our most limited choice, only 350 of these to go around. Can I just say there is a 15 degree differential between this set and our other set, and this feels so good right now, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I felt like I was wearing a sauna suit over there. All right, here's what we're calling our pink mix. A little deceiving, right? Because this pink has a lot of uh, burgundies and reds to it. But we're calling this one the pink mix. So the pink mix is going to have more of your burgundies and almost kind of an orchidy lilac combination. As much as I love the harvest, I'm kind of thinking this is my favorite because my husband and I were married in the fall. We had our rehearsal dinner at our house and my mother and I planted 40 mums lining our walkway, uh, surrounding the pool, um, and we did them all in these gorgeous deep burgundy colors because that was the color of our bridesmaids dresses. And can you believe it, it rained. We couldn't even go outside and enjoy all of that. But I still love this color. So this is what we're calling our pink mix. And then again, let me show you that harvest mix. Because this is the one that we introduced to you last year. This is the one that so many of you were like, oh, Jill, thank you. Thank you for bringing back those Bethlehem Lights hanging baskets. We've missed them. So here is your opportunity to get the one that we have for you this year in that classic combination of orange and red and yellow. It comes with all of the hanging hardware. The battery box is hidden and tucked down inside. If these get wet, there's no problem. There's no drooping petals. This doesn't ever die off and look sparse and horrible. It just always looks beautiful until you decide to take it and put it away and maybe replace it with all of your holiday items. I love the amount of lights that we put on this. We've heard you. You want more lights so that it illuminates at nighttime, not just to look like twinkles, but also to be able to see a little bit of what it's illuminating. So we put 30 lights inside of this basket, um, really nicely designed from the underside too. It sort of has that cocoa liner. So it looks like, and it has all of the elements of what a real hanging flower basket would. But of course here, no watering required, no fertilizing, no pruning, no deadheading, no, you know, petals and, and mess and water dripping on your front porch or you know the back deck area or wherever you're going to put this and don't forget these do nestle nicely I don't have one out here, but this will nestle, you saw it on the video, this nestles really nicely down into a planter. So if you have those two front urn planters by your front door, and that's where you put your annuals, and then once those kind of die off, what do you do for the season? Dig a little bit of the dirt out to create a well, plop this right inside and you're good to go. Look how pretty these are indoors too. If you like that kind of plum mix, I think that's a decor combination of color that a lot of you might use in your home year round. So why not use these in your house year round. They can be so pretty and you'll have that really pretty warm white glow uh, in the evening time when the days become shorter. So if you're interested in these, this is one of our only fall hanging baskets from Bethlehem Lights of the year. 
So if this is something that you really love, if you've been looking for these, you know, for years we did a ton of different choices from Bethlehem Lights. We've kind of quieted it down a little bit. So I, I think what we've tried to do was to give you um, more lushness and quality over quantity so that the ones that you choose are all going to be meeting your specifications. You want fullness, you want realness, you want more lights, you want features, you know, you just, you want it to be a little bit more. And so that's what we've really tried to do. So this again is your harvest mix. This one here, and there's fewer than 500 to go around in that harvest mix, yikes. Here's what we're calling the pink mix. This is your burgundies, and then these beautiful kind of lilac-y orchid colors. It's really gorgeous. Um, again, it's more burgundy mums than it is pink. I'm not sure why we called it the pink mix, but we did. That's not my job. Um, but think more of your burgundies. And then what we're calling the plum mix is over here. And there's fewer than 150 of these to go around. And that's giving you those whites and then this kind of olive green which at a distance is just gonna look like greenery. And then you have those pretty kind of more purpley lavender shades going on as a contrast. Just so you know, just to recap, six hour timer, you need two C batteries for this. We've put it on a three pay easy pay plan. So it's just $19 and change a month. And I wanna make sure you remember that we have those desert steel pumpkins uh, as well. So if you kind of like this whole front porch thing that we set up for you, this is gonna be a really nice way for you to tie all of these elements together. So here's the front porch. If you like these luminary pumpkins, some of you might just be waking up. Um, only the orange remains and only a couple hundred to go around. So we have the tall and we have the squat and they're on easy pay. We sold out of those last September. If we sell out of them today, I don't know that they're coming back. And then here to go along with that, you add in your wonderful baskets, whether it's hanging or look how pretty it is just kind of sitting next to it. I mean, look how nice that would be on your front porch to have those wonderful wonderful fall harvest colors next to your, your uh, desert steel pumpkin. So here's another update for you. We brought in 1,800 of these for the show today. In that harvest mix, I have 200 left. In the plum mix, only six dozen left and 400 in the pink, which again is really burgundy. It's the burgundy color mums. It's really lush. If you like those deep colors, I'm also looking at this and thinking if you like Victorian, those Victorian rich burgundy velvets and brocades, mm, that's the one for you. All right, I'm gonna step over here to talk to you about these spinners. Oh, hello. Um, these are from Plow and Hearth. And aren't they fun? Love these. Um, I saw Nancy Brandmuller earlier today and she's like, oh Jill, I just love those spinners that you have in the show from Plow and Hearth. Well, all the quality that you love from the Plow and Hearth brand and we've been so proud to be able to bring you this brand here at QVC. These are designed specifically for the fall season because they have a little bit of a fall motif here. So let me just find my card because we changed the show around a little bit. Here it is. Stand by. Okay, so these are available in what we're calling the pumpkin choice, which is right here. And so you have a little pumpkin that's at the top of where this is hanging from. And it's finished on both sides and it's done in kind of a little bit of a glossy speckled paint. And then the spinner part, as you can see, is spinning in these colors of autumnal reds and oranges and golds. And then down at the bottom, they're measuring about 32 inches long. Down at the bottom, you have this multicolored leaf, kind of greens and golds. So that one is your pumpkin choice. And then over here, we have the one that's called fall leaves. So here is the fall leaf. You can see right there at the top. Coming down, you have those reds and golds and, and oranges. And then down